Yo, what's going on guys? Black Halo here. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tilted. <laughs> Cause fucking I was playing AD Carry. And that basically all I, that's all I need to say, man. I was playing AD Carry. So Yeah, that game actually didn't go all that well. It wasn't necessarily me feeding was the bad part. It was just, you know. I just started tilting, man. My mindset's you already know, man. It's a struggle. But on the bright side, at least I'm playing Udir. I'm playing Udir top. I don't know why I'm playing Udir top. I want to try to get jungle. Yeah. Let's get it. I'm ready, man. We're going against Victor top lane. This really shouldn't be that hard of a lane. What I'm going to end up doing this game is I'm just going to try to focus on my CS. Whatever my teammates do, I'm just going to try to, like, not even worry about it in a way. Yeah, here's Victor. I'm just waiting this out. I'm gonna go hit this one side. Once I get the chance to. What I would like him to do is just push me in. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that shit because of that fucking flame. Oh my god. Yeah, I got my move speed quints for whatever reason. And I got Camille Mastery, so. I wonder how this game is gonna go. You just teleport across my fucking screen. That's a good sign. Here we get Tiger here. Yeah, I should have got turtle. Whatever, it doesn't matter too much. Fuck, man. Castle model. Little bitch. I didn't know he was here, man. I can stay. Just go top. I'm really just start running around the map, man. I'm gonna do some crazy shit, but right now I just fucking die, so it's just not interesting. All right, so around this time is when the enemy begins to camp me. And they're not even getting much out of it, so. But the thing is, is that when people actually commit all of their resources onto targets that really aren't very important in the game, it is crazy. Because once you start doing that, like if they start going squad in top lane, then that's going to open my team up to actually get ahead. Easy ass. Alright, there we go. I was like yelling at this motherfucker just to game the lane, man. Fuck, Gronk. If they're actually choosing to kill my bot lane, that would result in them not doing good. And I'm, since I'm not doing good, we'd all be suffering, you know? So it makes sense to a certain extent to why when you gank lanes that are already losing it, it's not very beneficial. I'm about to get this easy right next, man. I'm gonna go back right now and get MR. <laughs> get some fucking MR. Look at this bitch, man. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm... Guys, but I don't know, man. It's, it's <laughs> blaming my freaking team is it's hilarious. But yeah, if you guys haven't already realized, this is the way I commentate and how I play live. When I start doing a little bad or when I start playing worse, I'm starting to do a little damage now. Just the fact that I was able to get away with this shit says a lot. 
it's actually it's actually better when I don't commentate, you know. So it's kind of like me going in and out live and post. But I don't know if you guys like it. Be sure to drop a like or subscribe or something like that because I feel like it ends up happening regardless. However, I would like to talk more when I play, but I'm not gonna sacrifice uh, my gameplay unless I'm not playing ranked or something like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have or I do this like I, I say things and predict the future in a way. <laughs> and if I wasn't commentating about it, sitting there, I'd be able to focus on my gameplay. You know, it's it's like a trade off in a way. But you know, some people are experienced at it. It just takes practice. Practice makes perfect when it comes to a majority of things. So yeah, that's just what I'm sure to do. As you guys can see, I'm I'm not even afraid of covering mid lane because of the items that I have. Since I had a Merc Treads and Negatron, uh, and I got a lot of tankiness, so it doesn't even matter. But here top lane, I noticed that I made a pretty big mistake. I wanted to pick this blue up because I'm pretty greedy for getting blue, and. Uh, I really wanted this because of the extra sustain and I also didn't really care too much about top lane I wanted them to shove in my lane so I wouldn't be forced to stay at this tower so overextend it So basically what I'm plotting here is to kill the victor because I know I have the damage to do it And right now my build is too much for him to handle And really I just come in straight up drop a phoenix stance on him or Baron and Phoenix and then I, I try to get as much as much damage as possible and yeah I even get his flash I had to go drop a tiger dot in Phoenix so yeah that's really good for me I did sacrifice my tower going down so yeah <laughs> in a way is is not that worth but it's pretty worth you did lose a couple towers or whatever I almost got my Z zero out. And that's a pretty component item for me to get, or a pretty key item for me to get right now. We are not doing very well on New Deer. This is the best way to be useful, is to get a rot. And you guys see me building this item a lot, but recently I haven't done it because I've just been playing better. And ever since that nerf, I haven't, like, the item hasn't been able to accumulate a lot of gold like it used to. Just thinking back on the old Z Rot days, man, it's, it's crazy to where you can just place that thing down from like two and a half minutes at a time and they just sit there and pressure a lane for you and get a lot of gold it sounds op but it really wasn't that great it was just very optimal for you to build especially when behind and that's that's really not healthy so you know it's good that they actually ended up changing that item a bit so as you guys can see i'm just farming a bit that's basically what you want to prioritize is farm and that's all i really do this game spoiler alert guys I, i'm just farming but the thing is, is that I'm trying to keep up with the enemy team. When you notice that the enemy team ends up getting fed and starts throwing down, you do want to be present, but you also want to be sure to stay at the same grounds as them when it comes to CS and levels. Fucking good. I'm gonna die. You want to stay even or pass them up if possible, and that's really how you you can get ahead and carry games or another way you can and that's a very sick that's a very potent way just out leveling i was better off just sitting top and farming because victor ended up following me you guys already saw what happened it wasn't very much that went down so i didn't even bother really commentating it so yeah <laughs> another split here i end up trying to cover mid lane again that's basically what i'm pretty good at this game is fending off against this fed fizz because he can't 100 to zero me at all like he can to my team he can't really combo me very well and yeah <laughs> they have a lot of R uh, mr so i'm glad that i picked up as much resistances as i did so yeah We are back to base, not able to pick up much, but the thing is, as long as I just stay out there in the field and keep delaying the enemy team, and I even got Fizz's Shark, so that's not too bad for me. Really, I'm used to playing from behind. I feel like players like to try to just get you down <laughs> as far as like they, they want to camp you. They want to make you feed to the maximum extent, but when I start feeding, I'm like the most useful 
two and eight player in the game in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to be proud about. But I, I, what I'm saying is uh, I'm good at playing from behind. And I don't know how valuable that is nowadays, but I hope that it is it's good or valuable. I feel like it should be it should be relevant. And the way the level is holy one shot. The way the leveling system works in this game too is that you can you can end up catching up eventually. So yeah, if it was just Shark uh, Cassiopeia, it's pretty hard to kill this dude. As you guys know, he's Fizz, and he's a very he's a tilt inducing champion for at least me. So it's a lot of pre-planning you have to do. It's a lot of things you have to, uh, or a lot of paths you have to cover because he has so many different options. Yeah as far as where he can go so yeah we actually had to do a lot just to kill this dude j4 ended up flashing in and hitting r on him and i'm glad that he did that and it's just ridiculous i, I could have passed better there but you know it ends up being very good for us we killed their most fed carry on their team so there's never anything wrong with that unless you focus them down too hard and the enemy team is able to kill you all but that didn't happen <laughs> that did not happen so it looks like I'm trying to do Rift Arrow here. It looks like this will be successful, but we're really not too sure at the moment. But we're actually not even able to pick this up at all because freaking Baron spawn. So that sucks. If we were able to get that sooner, that would have been great. A good Rift Arrow for us to have. So I hit my fruit. J4 ends up coming in, which is pretty good for us because he's able to help me out. Cause I was I was a little bit caught out here. I didn't even catch the redemption, but <laughs> J4 kind of dies in my place, which is uh, it's questionable because uh, I'm three two one right now. I'm doing a I'm doing a bit better, so I definitely don't want to go down here. I'm able to place my rock as I back. I noticed that. Okay, uh, I, I noticed that Bane was able to get a solo kill, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah just back to farming man simple stuff pretty sure the enemy team will try to goon squad me again so i, I really can't commit on to killing shaco all right so right now at this point in the game i feel like we're a lot stronger than the enemy team so i'm ready to throw down some more <laughs> and yeah man just gotta kill on the caitlin victor is also gonna end up overextending in this lane so we're sure to take advantage of that yeah right now it's two for two we've killed the enemy team and they've also gotten two kills on us while fizz is pushing down mid dragon is coming up pretty soon as well and shaco is also down there ready to contest it so we're also gonna be sure to head down there because that's something i definitely want at this point in time i don't have as much cs as i possibly could and you know as you guys already know i've i guess i'm sort of on tilt and i'm pretty toxic you know, i'm just running my ass down bot lane good thing that they're overextending down there to our tower so we're able to just run them off and be sure to contest this i'm not too sure if victor has tp right now that's a good thing to keep in mind i'm definitely going to be doing that more as time goes on in this game it's just keeping mindful of the timers once you are able to time those things perfectly you could actually plot and plan on a, stealing objectives like this one. Shaco comes through and steals it, but he goes down in the process, so that opens it up, us up to make picks on the enemy team, go for Baron, any type of thing. Even Siege down this mid turret, we still haven't gotten because of our gold deficit. We haven't really been up in gold much this whole entire game, and so now, and this is the best it's looked in quite some time as far as getting objectives go. Fizz actually jumps in, flashes, and gets away with that. So the only thing we can really do here is just zone them off the tower and grab it for ourselves. Our team ends up going down in the process, so it's, much, it's not really not much I can do here. I need to pop my ghost and dip set out of here. They can't kill me. I'm not even worried about dying. Oh, wow. He actually, wow. He flashed and freaking <laughs> cute me. Yeah, they still can't kill me even if they commit that hard. So, nothing to worry about there. We did not get the dragon. We got a mid tower. Lost the team fight after, so. At least we got top lane pushing towards us. I pick up my Triforce here, and I'm sure to head up here. And this is a pretty big spike for me. I finally have three items in this game. Uh, yeah, I was behind, and 
the items that I decided to build are pretty good. That's the best part of my my set right now as far as what I have. Because my max on order early on wasn't the greatest. My decision making early on wasn't the greatest. And I can actually tell just from a lot of my gameplay. The cockiness is just so real. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I remember last season that I made a video on God complexes. And this was actually one of the things that began to help hold me back. So I'm going to be sure to work on that. That's why I like reviewing my games and commentating over pretty much all of them and doing this at this current point in time before I decide to grind and rank up because when I do this I'm able to just kind of dissect what I do and that's something I recommend you guys to do in your own games as well is just see what goes wrong and what you do and your mentality towards what goes down in the game holy damage <laughs> from J4 coming out he was able to sustain pretty much that whole fight but it's still not enough he was able to tank and he was able to do a lot right there. <laughs> that was pretty good for us. And he just jumped right into Vayne. Yeah, he tanked a lot for us. That's really good. Vayne ended up getting a triple kill. I got a shutdown. Can't really do much after that because our jungler went down. If we actually had J4 to survive there, we are down, man. Oh, yeah, I remember I was, um, I was telling this J4 that he, he did a good job, that team fight. But the only thing he didn't do was allow me to get to them because I can really help them so if, like I said if we were able to get there a bit quicker it would have been great <laughs> at least I'm feeling a little bit better uh, this game man it, it's weird League of Legends man it, it feels like it's just a lot more fun when you win but when you lose it's very demoralizing and it gets you to feel a certain way but I don't know Hope you guys are enjoying so far though. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead a bit to see what else I decide to do. Alright, so that really didn't take long. We began to siege down bot lane. My ZZ Rod is placed down there in that bot try section in the map. That bush is a really good place to put down a rot. And a Cassiopeia just killed the Caitlyn, so we're actually pretty good to siege this tower, it looks like. I also drop a quick stun onto the Shaco, but it, I get combo focus a lot onto me and yeah they actually pay for that quite heavily and as you can see we started to win this team fight and uh, dominate them because of just us making that pick and me tanking for my team so that's very good very very good for us so that will open us up to get this tower and then some it looks like this game is gonna be over quite soon just because of how the tide of the game ended up switching over and yeah, our team comp is just scaling, man. We're we're having a very, a very big power spike right now because that is what we we had to do is just inevitably scale up. And you guys already know I like that phrase so much. I don't know why I keep saying it, but sure is true. Holy damage coming out this game, guys. <laughs> Able to get our first inhibitor, and yeah, it's pretty great. Basically, it looks like, yeah, we're back in here. Fizz is coming up pretty soon. Pretty much the whole enemy team is spawning right now, so we do want to back off. That's the best decision. Our rock actually gets sharks and goes down, so. Just grab a few minions on the way out. Yeah, that's how you do it. Just farm <laughs> while taking the objectives and dip setting. It's pretty good. So I'm back in here. I have 3,500, so yeah it's not looking too good for the enemy team at this point in time i'm able to pick up an armor item i believe actually let's see what i, I get a banshees okay okay that's respectable because of the cc they have and i'm pretty sure i end up picking up something else yo i get his freaking science are you serious well i do get an armor item i was right about that yeah zanya's udir the golden uh, golden phoenix flame golden udir okay i like it i like the sound of that Really don't have any dragons though. Not a big, a big detrimental factor in this game. Because I'm typing in chat that we can contest Baron, and we definitely can. That's something we could pick up and end the game instantly with. So, yeah, when you notice those type of instances in the game, like you can grab a Baron after you get an inhibitor, it's really good. So, it's really good. I'm gonna shove out top here pretty good timing because this is bot lane right now as well 
and it looks like our team is fighting at the moment creating picks which is very good we just got another enemy slain mid laners our top laners down that dude was annoying me quite a bit <laughs> early on into the game just because of all the harass and the poke that was coming out so yeah my trial force is doing uh, quite a bit of damage to this tower nobody can really stop me at this point in time because I have a ZZ rod I have a wave behind me as well and I got four champions on the back of me they still can't do anything <laughs> to take me down <laughs> Jesus the scale is so real this game so real so this looks like another inhibitor for us another inhib tower <laughs> dropping disrespect or master can't even call it disrespect Meanwhile, the bot minion wave is shoving into the enemy tower, grabbing his turret, so... Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this game. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're a bit sluggish to end it, because as you guys can see, we could have just rotated over. Well, our team would have... Uh, could have went down in the process. <laughs> Holy shark. See, I do have TP. This Nexus tower is very low, so this game is actually pretty much over, so... Hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to show your support in the comment section below likes are appreciated subscriptions are also available for you guys obviously <laughs> the way i said that it was so weird but i don't know plugs plugs op i'm always gonna plug myself because why not why wouldn't you right i feel like i don't do it enough or didn't i don't know <laughs> if you guys actually have something to say about that feel free to because I will take all feedback into consideration and really you guys are the reason why we're at this point right now so yeah we're doing pretty good though in this game regardless and I'm gonna be sure to continue doing good and yeah <laughs> holy crap it's like I get that freaking move speed burst with the ZZ Rot plus shot force so it's pretty good and meanwhile, I'm able to just flame the whole team, get a lot of kills, and I'm really shining right now. And I really wasn't earlier into the game. I'm looking really good, but earlier on, I was just really not in the mood. <laughs> yeah, just the mindsets and men the mentality. And I really can't think of what I was going to say next. Just the... Alrighty. <laughs> But I'm pretty happy right now, <laughs> as you guys can see. I don't know, just prioritizing. Having fun is what you want to do. Without being toxic, if possible. But you know, this game. Oh, that was a good game. I know I was trying. <laughs> I'll commentate over that, actually. Silver 2. So next game I will be showcasing more of my climbing. So see you guys then.